Then I get this phone call. Uh, this guy here, Richard McCain from Benetton Formula One, he said, um, I have a driver who would like to try this. I said, yeah, all right, tell me more about it. Turned out to be a guy named Michael Schumacher. And I'm sure if you a lot of people have heard about him. And I didn't know if I would be reunited with my baby here that I made. Uh, well, actually, you can see it here. There it is right there. I didn't know if I was having it, so we had the pictures here. I always wrote Godspeed on it because that's like saying good luck. Well, as it turns out, remember, drivers are very superstitious. And some of them thought that meant something like it's the last rites. So I lost sales with that. So after a while, I stopped putting that on there. But I always engraved the serial number, the date. And in this case, since this was the first Formula One reel, I included a, another registration, which is F1001. I have to thank FedEx because let me tell you something. This wheel got lost. It came from Italy to Southern California. Luckily, it arrived. I'd hopped on the plane, I'd say, what, four days ago uh, is when I got it. And it's here. And you guys can see what it was. And um, I told Richard that I was reluctant to do it because at this point, 159 of these things, I knew how critical it was for me to be there with the driver to fine tune it because it's an evolutionary process when you're talking about ergonomics. <clears throat> Richard gave me the confidence that I needed to let go of the baby and send it overseas, but, but I knew it had to be perfect. And so I kept working on this wheel for a long, long time, and I tried something experimental. You talk about risky. I started, for the very first time, putting palm swells in here to, so until this thing felt completely transparent to the touch. In other words, when I put my hand on it and squeezed it, I couldn't feel anything. That's what you want, because the drivers, when they're at that level, they don't want to be distracted by something that's in their hand. They want that mental transparency so they can feel what's going on at the contact patch.